Today is August 16th, and I'm coming on to share a dream that I had this morning. Uh, with the key of David, I want to place the cloak of invisibility over our communication, minds, body, spirits, and our hearts. Plead in the blood of holy Ishaya over us as well as this video. Okay, in this dream, I was in the spirit and I saw my husband saying the word dissipation 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 and i saw these thick white clouds and it looked like it was some red and blue um smoke or clouds mixing in over the the white but it wasn't a whole lot and i'm also uh believing that those colors are representing america Okay, so the meaning of my husband's name is, when I looked it up, it says black or dark. But right here it says of, of Dubin Fishing Hook, dark. Okay. So, I came across this article. It says dissipation, which means drunkenness, anxiety signs of the times and i know that my husband he does drink in huge proportions okay so i'm believing that father was using him as an example of america but this is a warning for all of us all of the body of christ it says um at Luke chapter 21 verses 34 through 36 be careful or your hearts will be weighed down with dissipation drunkenness and the anxieties of life and that day will close on you unexpectedly like a trap for it will come upon all those who live on the face of the whole earth be always on the watch and pray that you will be able to escape all that is about to happen and that you may be able to stand before the son of man Jesus tells us that because of our knowledge of future events, our lives should be different from the world. We have a mission before us that's time sensitive. Those things that hinder us from effectively sharing the gospel of Christ must be put away. The Lord spoke of dissipation. The Greek word literally means tossing head. It was the common term for hangover. We associate this term with drinking, but Jesus wasn't limiting it to the use of alcohol whenever we leave our calling to chase after the world there's a wasted period of time while we get back on track again this is the period of our spiritual hangover too many christians are living most of their lives in dissipation they're either giving in to the desire for the things of the world or they're trying to regain what they've lost don't waste most of your life in dissipation Drunkenness then is the actual pursuit of worldly pleasures. You could become intoxicated on more than just alcohol, power, money, sports, and a host of other distractions can rob you of your effectiveness in Ahia. Does that mean that all these things are sins? Absolutely not. But if you find yourself more involved in these temporary things than in your walk with God, then your priorities are messed up. The third warning the Lord gives us is to beware of the anxieties of life. We're not to be so overwhelmed by our cares that it hinders our walk with God. When we spend most of our time worrying about finances, health, and relationships, we lose our desire to serve God faithfully. Jesus said that if you seek his kingdom and his righteousness first, then your needs will be taken care of. Jesus said that the temptation to fall into these traps will come on all people, no exceptions. There will be no free rides. He's warning us about the future so that we'll be ready. That's why he said that if you're watchful, awake, and alert, you could pray to escape some of these things. Literally, it means to run away from. I believe that if we seek God's wisdom, we'll be protected from much of the pain that will come to the earth. Of course, that means we need to listen for God's voice of instruction and then obey him when he speaks. 
I believe that the last days of this age are going to be the most exciting time period that any Christian could be part of. So we all have to be careful. And we all have to do introspect on ourselves. And so out of obedience, I am sharing this dream. And I pray that all come to repentance before it is too late. Shalom. I love you all. And most importantly, Jesus love you all. And peace be with you.